welcome to day 12. 12, 12, 12. <laughs> You'll find that joke funny later. What do we got? Caramel shortbread, buttery almond cookie. It's a fruit infusion. A lot of fruit infusions. Ingredients, apple, <laughs> raisins, brown sugar, elderberries, willow bark, almonds, hazelnut, sour cherries, raspberry, stevia extract, natural and artificial flavoring. No, it actually says natural and artificial almond and hazelnut flavoring. All right, it's five plus minutes. It's of course caffeine free. Let's get to taking a peek at this one. Caramel shortbread. Oh, it smells nice. Kind of chunked up in there. What would that be? No idea. Okay. Oh, there's actually like a hunk of a nut in there. A hunk of a nut. <laughs> All kinds of good stuff. Let's get this steeping. Okay, and because it says one to two again, we're just gonna have to fill it. Yep, everything's submerged. All right, day 12. We're at the halfway point. Here. I wanna talk to you guys about a couple things. Let me see if I can make this work. Okay, so what I wanted to talk to you guys about today was gift guides. I adore looking through gift guides. I'm gonna make sure we got our timer set on this. Okay. All right, so I love looking at gift guides and you know, even if it wasn't for something that I'm going to, there is a lot of ads on this. Back to what I was talking about. So sometimes I really like looking at gift guides. It might not be for, you know, that I'm gonna be gifting somebody because maybe I don't know anybody that absolutely loves tea as much as you and I do, but it might give me an idea of what I would love to have. And then that way, you know, when somebody asks you what you would like, you could be like, hey, reference my Pinterest wish book. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> but, or something that you wanna grab for yourself. So, cause you know, you gotta be kind to yourself and give yourself a gift. So the first one up here we have is Tea Time Magazine's Holiday Gift Guide. It is 15 of the best books for the tea lovers library. And I love that, like, you know, that, you know, there's actually books out on tea. So the tea dictionary, personally, that sounds very interesting to me. And I know that um, Tea For Me Please, uh, Nicole, has a book out as well. I'm gonna leave all the links to the guides down below as well as anything that I mention. I always leave all of that down below, so yeah. Next up, we have Delish.com, 22 gifts perfect for anyone who loves tea. And like I said, I love seeing new things that maybe I didn't know that were out there or you know that I didn't know I needed. <laughs> this elephant mug is so cute. Teas from around the world, uncommon goods, so cute. Tea to go travel mug. Tea drop sampler, those are cute. The spoon with tea time on it. Some organic tea. Tea for one set, some different, oh, tub tea, that's cute. Retro style electric kettle, although I can appreciate the look of that. I'm a fan of my own kettle. <laughs> the Corvo is amazing. Bubble tea kit, now this, that I would like to have. Yes, please sign me up, <laughs> that looks amazing. Matcha green tea moisture cream. I love how it's not just like tea. It's like the whole world of tea. So, and they have such a good guide. If you just keep going through, you can find all kinds of neat things 
for somebody that loves tea or for yourself. Let's flip to the next one. 26 gift, best gifts for tea lovers for 2019. And this is through O Magazine. So like that Let's Tea, the pink chai is so cute. I know that this website wasn't working very well, so we're just gonna kind of skip over that, but you can go back through and look at that. Um, what was this one here? All right, that's our timer. We'll just finish up these two. 15 great gifts for tea lovers. Um, I just, it's so great. So different mugs, the tea gift box, very cute. Advent calendars, I mean, you know, if you wanted to get them for somebody. Jeanette always used to get me the David's Tea Advent calendar for my birthday, which is at the end of October. So it would be like the perfect time. A kettle, I mean, there's always great kettles out still. <laughs> the Fellows brand is amazing. A tea hamper from Fortnum's and Mason's, like, that would be like insanely amazing. What's the next one that we have here? Oh, I loved this one. Um, it's by T. Cha Chahi? Chahi? You're gonna have to, it's Daniela. She's certified and she has the best tea gu gift guide ever. I love it. I love how it's like set up by prices. So gifts for tea lovers under $20 and she gives you a bunch of options. Number eight is super cute. I've always loved that style of steeper. Number 13 is super fun as well. It's wonderful for uh, allowing you to really taste and get into the whole tasting part of tea, like the, the, whole, the whole educational section of it. Um, so under $50, she has a section here. And then the splurge. And there she has the fellows. The number three there is the fellows. That is the uh, gooseneck one. And the one that uh, I use is the Corvo with the, the smaller spout, which I really like. I'm very glad that I got this and not the gooseneck one. Oh, that number six looks like a T2, doesn't it? Yeah, T2 tea wear. Whew, that is gorgeous stuff. Yeah. So I will leave all of those links down below. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got here. Caramel shortbread. Immediately it smells delicious. Yep, smells like caramel shortbread. How did they do that? They're like wizards. It smells very good. I'm afraid to drink it because I don't want the smell, the taste to be ruined by the smell. But I don't, I don't want to fall out of love with it. So it must be the raisins and the brown sugar. Willow bark. Must be making it smell buttery. Mmm, mmm, yum. sour cherries in it, and I'm not quite sure why. Every once in a while, I do get a taste of the sour cherries, but otherwise, it is a very much a buttery, almond-flavored, you know, hot beverage. That is drinkable, not my favorite. Um, probably rate that like a six. It's doable. What is it that we say? It is drinkable but not buyable. <laughs> mm. Oh, dearie me. All right, I'll see you guys down in the comments. Until next time, take care. Bye. <laughs>